then just chilling. Spent years spinning my wheels and searching for a villain. For real, all I needed was a rhythm, a beat, a cell phone, a notebook, a feeling. A reason to relax, rushing through the past, anxious to the max. Listen. Hey yo, and welcome to episode 13 of Limitless. Today we have a real special episode for you. So, my wife is heading to Megacon, and I've been tasked with making her some Dr. Zoidberg dangly bits. I also printed a blaster for Zap Brannigan. This was just the last minute download off Thingiverse, so thank you Matthew Baca, wherever you are in the world. Now, getting into the good stuff. I use some of the more realistic renditions for reference because the cartoon just doesn't have much detail. The first step in this process was to grab a quick scan of my wife to work from. I then took this scan into Blender and started 3D sculpting the flappy bits. After spending some time experimenting with all the different tools, I did a boolean remove to fit the mask perfectly to her face. I then spent an excessive amount of time flipping back and forth between my reference image and my model, trying to make sure it looked right. After getting the flapper to a point that I could work with, I started sculpting a sort of glasses frame, which will support the silicone. Trying to sculpt this frame was reminiscent of the blender memes I have seen making fun of beginners, but I have spent 15 years fully defining every sketch, so this is a refreshing break. I started running out of time and had to quit chasing perfection. I used my data to create a cavity in a block and then 3D printed the mold. I'm printing this out of PLA and will be casting pink silicone rubber inside of it. Silicone is an interesting material to work with because it doesn't really stick to anything else. This works well for molding and with it also being flexible, it is often used for making the mold itself. The one downside of all this, if you're ever trying to glue silicone together, you basically need to use a specialized glue that contains silicone. So here I am mixing up the silicone I got off Amazon. The brand is Start So World, and I was really impressed with the quality of this, but it is much more expensive than like a flexible urethane. I put this first one in the vacuum chamber just to be safe, but it ended up causing more trouble than it helped. I think I let the vacuum build up too much and it pulled liquid out of the mold and between that and the shrinking I ended up short shotting the ends. Luckily for me my wife was not happy with the pink color anyway so I had to pour another one. I mixed in some red mica powder and just a dash of black and the color came out really nice. With the help of some red face paint, a bald cap, and some reworked scrubs, she became Dr. Zoidberg in the hotel room. Her friends went as Kip and Zach, and it seemed like they had a pretty epic time doing a Futurama girls trip. Although they did miss seeing Kathy Sagal, who is the voice actor for Leela. Stay tuned for the next episode.